Hey guys, Thrasher here. We have a new banner called Boundary Breaking Saiyans. It's got two new characters in it. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so first thing we should do is look at the featured characters. Let's go ahead and open this up. And actually, before we before we actually look at these two new featured characters, I want to show you the five sparking that you can actually get. So if we go to Z Power List and we go to Z Power List on the right here, we see these are the five characters that we can get, the five sparkings. They're 1% each. These three down here, you know these three characters. They're starting to show a bit of wear. They're older characters. They're not really on par with a lot of the current top tier units. So let's talk about these two specifically and whether or not it's actually worth it to pull on this banner to go after these two units let's back up and we will go to featured characters first thing we want to do look at super vegeta in my opinion after looking at the stats of both the characters this is probably the better unit he has the best blast attack in the game he's on par with the uh purple blast vegeta for his base blast attack stat but then he's got a bunch of other abilities that massively boost his blast attack so let's go over here and look at this um if we check out blast attack up you can see that he gets a massive blast attack boost if you can keep him in for 15 counts and I'm not gonna do a full review of the character right now but what I want to point out here is that he is by far the highest damage blast character in the game and the other amazing thing for this unit is that we see here he has a dual ability Z ability so he's going to increase blast attack for Super Saiyans and he's going to increase crit damage so we're moving into that area now where as we look at the super trunks in a second a lot of these characters are going to start having dual Z abilities, where it's not just increased blast attack and blast defense, it's increased one main stat, so blast attack, blast defense, strike attack, whatever the main stat is, and then it's also going to increase a secondary stat. So it seems like these characters are going to get a little more dynamic, and we're starting to see the power creep really start to accelerate. Okay, so let's close this out. What I will say is overall looking at this unit, I will have a full review of the unit. He is a great blast unit. He does have some drawbacks. It is a little bit harder. He's one of those train buildup units, so he's the opposite of Heart Virus Goku, where Heart Virus Goku will jump out and just immediately rush you and do a ton of damage. This unit takes a little while to get going, and he doesn't attack you as much in succession as Heart Virus Goku, but when he hits you, it's going to be like getting hit by a train. Okay, so let's um, look at Super Trunks. And speaking of getting hit by a train, this is the number one strike attack in the game right here. All of his abilities buff his strike attack. I take that back. He doesn't hit like a train. He hits like a nuclear bomb. The problem is it's hard for him to hit you. So let's open him up and look at him real quick. Um, Z ability. This is another dual Z ability like I just talked about. Primary stat strike attack. Secondary stat critical. So it increases your critical chance. Use this along with that other Vegeta. And now you're really starting to buff critical. And it's going to scale now. So you have an increase in critical chance. And you have an increase in critical damage. So that's what we needed for critical to scale. So another thing to look at here, his main ability is insane. He does a ton of strike damage. The only problem is he's not going to be able to hit very many times. Plus 10 to strike arts cost and he has a 50% reduction to vanish to engage. So this is one of those units that you pop out, use the main ability, crush somebody and then immediately switch to another unit. And like I was stating a second ago, uh, the, the stat creep is starting to get real. This is the best strike attack in the game. Overall, his power level is 311 when you get him 4-star. Now, up here, obviously, when you look at this, it says 5-star, but the stat difference is the exact same 4-star and 5-star. That's just a slight change in the Z ability. So here's the thing. All of our units are now going to be well above 300,000 from here on out, and the stat creep is going to continue. So the question here is, is this banner worth pulling on for just these two units. I think these two units are very good in the current state. I think there's a lot of upcoming units that are gonna be a lot better than these units. I get a lot of people that say, hey Thrasher, you say every banner is garbage. I don't say every banner is garbage. What I say is every banner is probably a two star to three star Dragon Ball banner, which means that you should be doing dailies. Sometimes you should be doing a couple multiples, which is what three star means, do up to three multiples. I do think that this banner is a three star Dragon Ball banner because the multiples are incentivized. If we back out, we see that you're going to get 10 of these little uh, silver bells, which are very powerful. So I would recommend doing a couple multis. And these are good units. Don't get me wrong. These are good units. But the thing is, if we look at the acceleration of the power of units over the last month or so, it's pretty Body obvious low. that these units are going to get... Um, surpassed very quickly so they'll be good for a couple months and then they're going to fall by the wayside so that's why I say this is a three-star Dragon Ball banner you're gonna use 3,000 crystals and then you're gonna need more crystals in the very near 
future. So when I'm talking about a banner, I'm looking at the big picture here, not just how good the banner is right now. And that's really all there is to this banner. I would say use one to two uh, multi summons immediately. Do your dailies for a while. Once it gets close to done, if you still don't have who you want, use one more multi just to sort of try to YOLO at it. Um, and I can't recommend doing more than say three multis on this, but the multis are helpful because of the silver bells. But like I said, these are very good units. They're probably at the very bottom of the top tier or the top of mid tier. These are good units. So if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to add, things you think I missed, throw them down in the comments. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.